All right, back for another beer review, and today I will once again be reviewing another beer from the other half brewing company, and they're out of both Brooklyn and Rochester, New York, and this is their Double Medusa Daydream. So this is another one of their Imperial Oat Cream IPAs, comes in at 8.5% alcohol by volume, no IBUs listed in the time of review. This can is exactly two weeks old. So this one has been getting mixed uh, reactions, mixed feedback. As far as I can tell, based on uh, my untapped friends, a uh, few of my friends have really, really not liked this, and a couple have uh, dug it for its uh, uniqueness. Um, so they're using Medusa hops, which I really know nothing about at all, and apparently it's a strange hop, and uh, I can't I can't recall off the top of my dome piece, so to speak, if uh, I've ever had a beer with Medusa hops. I probably have, I just don't remember. Uh, certainly not one that uh, the focus is on Medusa. So. This should be an interesting review. I really don't know anything about the hop, as I said. And uh, yeah, anyway, it's another other half beer. It's two weeks old, so we're gonna crack right into it. See what we got going on. Yeah, so it's pouring out like uh, your typical other half beer for sure. Um, yeah, has this really opaque, turbid, uh, creamy, I'm more, it's a bit lighter and on camera it might hopefully come off lighter, but it has like this yellow orange color, but it looks really creamy and milky. Has about a half finger of a bright white head looking creamy as well, but it looks like so many other half beers. They just, they all look very similar, especially the, you know, the, the Daydream beers, which if you're unfamiliar with the Daydream series, basically they use a bunch of oats and a bit of lactose. Anyway, let's get a nose. Wow, that is weird. Man, I'm getting like a creamy, um, like a creamy honeydew melon, maybe even like a cantaloupe. Big melon vibes though. Wow, yeah, this is huge melon. A little bit of like an unripened berry, like a nondescript field berry, so to speak. Shout out to my buddy Aaron Doucette. He likes the field berry uh, tasting note. And in this case, the aromatics are screaming nondescript field berries. Yeah, a little bit of like a sharper, like a sharper citrus note too, like a tangerine or like a very acidic orange vibe. You know what else is in here? When I'm thinking like creamy, like uh, fruits, I usually go like honeydew. You know, when you have honeydew, it just has you know, the creamy texture. Papaya as well. This is There's some papaya in here as well. It's really all about that uh, just unique fruit character. Like this smells like a fruit bowl, but very different than I'm normally accustomed to when it comes to another half beer. Definitely smells sweeter. Not picking up on any vanilla or, or lactose character in general. Yeah, it smells really unique. Let's get into it. Cheers. Wow. That is, that, that's pretty different. Man. The body and mouthfeel on this one, spot on like most other half beers. This body is actually like higher side of medium body at eight and a half percent, maybe even like lower full, believe it or not. But the mouthfeel is just straight on straight, soft, smooth, creamy, pillowy, luscious, all that. That's what this mouthfeel is. I wrestle with whether or not I would enjoy a lot of these beers uh, without the lactose more than I do. Some of them, I think it would detract obviously from the mouthfeel, but it would tone down the sweetness of beers. This one though, I really like the, the addition of lactose. The flavor though, it has like a creamy, fleshy, honeydew melon, papaya uh, characteristic in the taste. It definitely carried over. There's a little bit of like a, I said like an acidic orange or like tangerine. I'm getting more like guava into, like I said, that papaya. But there is an acidic like vibe to the beer, like you're almost using real citrus fruit juice in this one. One thing I will say about this, 8.5%. I don't even know what's going on. This drink's like at 6%. The uh, the finish is semi-dry, but it does have a sweeter kick to it, slight bitterness. This doesn't finish on like, you know, crazy, crazy sweet, but it is leaning towards the sweeter side of things. There isn't a ton of complexity 
but there's a big, unique, just overall character to the beer. This is unlike, I, in a lot of my other half reviews, I'll be like, yeah, it's another half beer. You know, they're all very similar, different nuances, slight different characteristics. This one, it's unlike almost any hop forward other half beer that I've drank, certainly recently. That, that big melon, like honeydew melon creaminess and papaya, a little bit of that like acidic tangerine, um, yeah, tangerine, clementine, orange, uh, blood orange, guava. It just has like an acidic vibe to it. I'm trying to dr keep on drinking more, see if I pull uh, more characters out, and I'm not. There really is no like dankness, herbaceousness, grassiness, floral characters, none of that. For me, this is full on tropical fruit juice with a slight uh, dryness on the back end and a slight bitterness. It drinks extremely well. I'm digging it. It doesn't have a lot of complexity. I do like un the uniqueness of this one, but as far as rating goes on the double Medusa Daydream, I'm going to give it a straight four out of five. Uh, it's just, it's, it's enjoyable, but even though it's quite unique at the same time, it just for me isn't as good as a lot of the other ones that they produce. That said, if you can get your hands on it and give it a try, highly recommend trying it out just because it is a different a different overall take on one of the Daydream beers from other half. Because so many of their uh, Daydream beers use Mosaic and Citra and Galaxy and you know Nelson and all that. Uh, so to have this hop um, you know, be in one of their Daydream beers, really cool because you get to see kind of what it's all about. I'd like to try more beers with Medusa in it. That's all I know. Anyway, that was Double Medusa uh, Daydream, Daydream from Other Half Brewing Company, 4 out of 5. Appreciate you guys stopping by. And until the next one, cheers.